How are you doing, everybody? This is Jonathan King from TheClinchReport.com and PugilPicks.com. I'm here at world-famous Glendale Fighting Club with none other than Edmund Tarverdi. And Edmund, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Now, Edmund, you're getting a lot of girls ready for this fight coming up August 10th. you got Marina Shafir on the card, Jemima Betrian on the card. Let's talk about Marina first. How has Marina um, gotten better on her feet, improved in stand-up over recent days? Um, she's improving every day, you know, training hard. Um, she's putting in a lot of time into striking and, you know, getting better every day. Day by day, she's improving and she just has to show it in the, in the cage right now. Um, now, she seems to bring a lot of her, her judo background transitions well to the, the mixed martial arts game, but oftentimes they say that it, 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 it actually hinders the footwork in boxing. She seems to have really good footwork. Is that something that you guys have been concentrating on? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of, you know, just learned boxing from the beginning, you know, then we put it together. She's been just boxing, you know, good footwork, amateur, you know, boxing skills so she could learn good foundation on her legs, could move in whenever she wants to and use her judo, you know. it's Then we tie it together, put it together. Now she's been putting it together very well, but she, she knows how to box. Now, uh, her opponent, Amanda Bell, um, has a grappling background as well. Sometimes in mixed martial arts, when you put grappler against grappler, you end up getting a stand-up war. Is that something that you expect? Um, well, it depends. It depends where you want to take the fight, you know, where you want the fight to be. Um, she, she, her, she believes her grappling is better, you know, and she's an accomplished judo, so she, her takedowns will be better. It's all about transitions afterwards and who gets the submission. I believe in Marina, she'll beat... Um, these girls in all areas but if she has to stand up and bang it out she's she's willing to do that uh, now it's now it's, let's transition to Jemima Betrian who will be fighting at 115 pounds coming in as the WCK Muay Thai champion in her weight class transitioning over to mixed martial arts how is she making the transition she's doing very well she has a lot of feeling in her punches and her legs of course you know kick punch very well knee elbow she's relentless She's a great, you know, athlete. She's a world champion, WBC champion, also in Muay Thai, and it's coming along very well. We've been wrestling a lot, you know, so the fight uh, won't have to go to the ground. If she does, she knows, you know, what she's supposed to do to stand up, keep it on her feet. But you know, she's coming along with her grappling. Also, she's she's a great athlete. With great athletes like this, you could you could teach them, and she she's willing to learn, and she's been doing an amazing job. She seems to have um, be able to to change her punches. In, in mid throw as far as to, to adapt for a range um, which is typical of a boxer um, but when she does there's really no check punches that she throws everything she throws has pop um, do, you, do you expect the fight to, to end quickly absolutely I expect the fights to end quickly when she fights you know she's a great knockout artist and she goes to the body very well and head to look so she I'm looking forward to that now how long do you think it'll be until we can see both of these women in the UFC um, we, well, there's the 115 division. Uh, Jemima will get a little bit more experience, you know, where, where we need her to get experience. And then after that, definitely she should be in the UFC. She will be in the UFC. She's a you know, world champion, has like 40 professional fights. She's only 23 years old. So, you know, she's a relentless, amazing, powerful, you know, quick, sharp striker. So it's, it's going to be exciting to watch her. And then Marina, you know, there's no 145ers at this point in the UFC, but you know, definitely she, de she deserves it to be out there also. Now Marina has a, 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 a very large fan base, uh, much like Ronda did when Ronda was first starting. Um, do you think Marina um, is the type of person that can kind of be the ambassador for a new weight class and carry a new weight class on her shoulders? Absolutely. It's all about hard work and dedication and you know, these girls really do work hard. Marina works very, very hard in the gym. So uh, if she, she keeps doing that, absolutely she could, she could do whatever she wants. She could carry it for sure. Now let's talk about your gym here. Uh, we know about the, the well-known fighters that you have here, boxers and mixed martial artists. Who do you have up and coming that we got to keep an eye on? Oh, a lot of fighters. I don't want to mention all of them, but we have, uh, you know, have up-and-comers, young kids, 16-year-old kids that do so well with all these pros, you know? So a lot of up-and-comers, but right now our focus uh, is on, you know, the fighters we have at the Chaos, and afterwards, you know, I promise good fighters will come out of this gym. Excellent. Thank you very much. Jonathan King from theclinchreport.com and pugilpicks.com. I'm here with world-famous striking coach Edmund Tarverdian at the world-famous Glendale Fighting Club. Thank you very much, sir.